Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have some items from the new Chanel number no. one collection. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. As you know, I have my online beauty consulting service, which is where you get the chance to talk to me through a Zoom chat and you get to pick my brain about any beauty concern you have, whether you're new to makeup or you have an extensive collection and maybe you just want like a fresh set of eyes, just go ahead and click the link down below there's a link to my website there is the scheduling calendar so you can pick the time and date that works best for you all right so the number one de chanel a brand new collection that includes both makeup and skincare now this launched when i was on vacation i had no idea this was coming out there were a lot of um embargo rules around this collection so it was really really hush hush until the grand launch now i have a few pieces here so we're gonna go ahead and talk about them break them down and do a little demonstration too now i picked up my collection well i didn't really pick it up i called on the phone i spoke to julia at the hold run fruit counter she's fantastic i will leave her contact information down below and so i just placed an order and she sent it to me in the mail so i have this little pouch here it's the number one de chanel you get a red camellia that's really the whole theme of this collection here and inside she gave me some samples i have a sample here of the fragrance l'eau rouge so red water this is the signature fragrance for this collection here from what i gather it's very floral very fresh but it's like it's a fragrance but it's like a body mist you know if you think of like eau de parfum eau de toilette body mist hair mist like it's very light it's not going to be like a long lasting heavy duty fragrance that's what i've been told i also have inside here a cute little sample pack of the skincare line for the number one camellia collection here so i believe i have the serum or the eye cream here and then afterwards it's the serum and then the face cream so i get a little bit of everything here and i just think it's really cute it just pulls out like an accordion you know chanel loves to be extra and you know i'm here for it I also got a little red envelope here. It has the beautiful camellia like logos here, like the gold camellia embossing. And then on the back you have the Chanel CC stamp here. It looks like um, you know, like an old-fashioned uh letter where they would put like wax and then a seal. It's just a little note here from Julia, so it's a cute little touch. Okay, so what did I actually pick up? I got the new foundation. Yes, there's a new foundation from Chanel. This is the Camellia Rouge Red Camellia Revitalizing Foundation, and I got the shade B40. Normally, I'd be a B30, but because of my recent vacation, I went with a 40. And then I also got the number one Red Camellia. This is the Cheek and Lip Balm. Just in case you are not already familiar, in this new number one collection, there is a whole lineup. So there's also a number one revitalizing serum in a glass red bottle. There is the fragrance we talked about. There is the eye cream we saw, a face cream. There's also refills for the face cream. So the face cream comes in a jar, but you can buy little pots of the moisturizer afterwards. So you can buy refills instead of just buying a new jar. There is a powder to foam cleanser. At first I thought it was like an exfoliator, but it's just a cleanser. There is a serum mist product that's like biphase. So it's oil and water and you have to shake it up to spray. That one looks interesting. There's also a revitalizing lotion, which just means toner. So it's really like a head to toe collection. It's not just like one product, one off. It's a whole lineup here and i definitely believe that chanel is targeting a much younger audience with this collection here not only with the products but also with the price point a lot of these 
especially the skincare items, are at a much lower price point than the rest of Chanel, especially if you think of Sublimage, which is like the high-end anti-aging line. You know, the other skincare lines from Chanel are like Hydra Beauty, there's the Lift, and then Sublimage. I think that this here uh, lives somewhere between Hydra Beauty and Lift. Hydra Beauty is just like your basic hydration. It has no other components to it other than just like nourishing and hydrating. And Lift is for lifting and plumping and smoothing out the skin. And I think that the number one collection is somewhere between number one and Lift. It's not going to have all the same anti-aging benefits, but it's more than Hydra Beauty. It has a little bit extra. It says on the website that part of the inspiration for this whole number one collection is a holistic approach. So it says, from the outset, various influences have shaped the way Chanel approaches beauty. One such influence was Gabrielle Chanel's holistic vision. There is no duality between the mind and the senses. No distinction between reason and sensibility. No separation of body from emotions, nor of being from its environment. A vision of beauty that now shines through in the number one collection, complete with skincare, makeup, and a fragrance mist. So it's just like the total package. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is the first time I've seen Chanel have a refillable anything. Like Chanel is not one of those luxury brands that does refills like a lot of other brands do, like Givenchy, Dior, I think YSL. They offer like, you can buy the refill of the skincare pot, but this is the first time I've seen Chanel do this. And I believe that all of the items from the number one uh, collection are made of recycled materials. So I think it's something to that effect. So clearly they're trying to get a younger audience, a little bit more sustainable, uh, reach a bit more of an eco-friendly, eco-responsible crowd. So yeah, that's that. Now let's go ahead and talk about the items that I picked up. So the number one, the Chanel, again, B40. Everything that I'm seeing from this collection the word that I'm seeing the most is revitalizing. That's what I'm seeing. Revitalizing, revitalizing, revitalizing. That this foundation is supposed to illuminate, hydrate, and protect. And this retails at 94 Canadian plus tax. That That's a lot. I feel like these everything keeps getting more expensive with Chanel. Like they keep going like $5 more, $10 more. I don't remember their foundations being 94. But this is the foundation here. It's a 30 ml in a glass bottle, which is really the standard for any foundation. And most Chanel foundations are 30 ml in a glass bottle, so nothing new there. And then it says it expires within 12 months of opening. So theoretically, once you start using this, you have 12 months to use it up. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ingredient list here. Feel free to go ahead and pause and read the ingredient list for you. If you have any concerns about ingredients, here it is. And it also says here that there's a QR code. I think we're familiar with QR codes now. Uh, you can go ahead and scan this at home if you have any questions about the ingredients or the product itself. You can just go ahead and scan that and just get more information. So the foundation here has the red camellia oil and camellia is found in all of the number one collection here. So the red camellia oil is supposed to deliver comfort to the skin and help strengthen the barrier function. That's fabulous because I'm living in a winter tundra at the moment. It says here in the description that the red camellia is a flower unlike any other and the key ingredient in the number one collection here. A flower with revitalizing powers whose extraordinary energy is uh, gives perennial youth. So I can kind of see what they're doing. It's like perennial youth. You're just getting youth for the rest of your life with the camellia uh, plant extract and with the number one collection. It says here for the foundation to go ahead and use the number one skincare line in completion before applying the foundation. But what's interesting is that it says you don't need any wait time in between applying your skincare and the foundation. Normally, I like to wait a little bit so that I don't get any rolling or pilling, but according to them, you can just 
go ahead and skip straight to makeup right away. They also say that you can use your fingers or a brush. I would say you could also use a sponge if you wanted to. So I do have the number 104 touch up brush. I use this as a multi-purpose. I use it as a foundation brush, sometimes a blush brush, sometimes a powder brush. It's just really great. I do think that a lot of the Chanel makeup brushes are very underrated. And so we're gonna go ahead and do a demonstration. I did do a wear test a couple days ago and we're gonna go ahead and talk about that. But before I do, I wanted to talk about a little bit of the skincare prep that I did because I like to exfoliate and make sure I really hydrate before any foundation test. And the exfoliator that I used was not Chanel, how shocking, but it's the Chantecaille Hibiscus Smoothing Mask. So this is an exfoliator that has AHAs and papaya enzymes. So you leave this on the skin like a mask. You just massage it onto the skin and then you rinse it off. I like to do that in the shower and it leaves you with the absolute softest, most baby smooth skin. I love the, the exfoliator from Chantecaille. And then I used the Chanel Hydra Beauty Camellia Repair Mask. Now this did not come out with this number one collection. I think it came out a couple of years ago, so it's white and it looks a bit waxy, but it's just the right amount of like thickness, but it's not too thick. I wore it last night and I also wore it today, this morning, just like a thinner layer. And I have sunscreen on, but this mask, you can wear it with makeup, it's really lovely. It's not going to interfere. And it just acts as like a really nice smoothing, protective barrier. I feel like I really have like a protection against the outside cold and so that's today's skincare. I'm gonna go ahead and do a pump on the back of my hand because I wanna show you the texture. It's liquid, but it's not super runny. Some liquid foundations are just like water and they just run off the back of your hand. This to me almost gives like a liquid with a, like a slight hint of like a gel texture because it doesn't run off the back of your hand. So that's just what I wanted to point out to you. So I'm just going to go ahead and do like a little Jackson Pollock polka dot action here, and then we will blend out. This does have a slight scent. A lot of the number one collection has this like camellia fragrance to it. So it's quite interesting but it's really really subtle it kind of just smells like a cosmetic with like a, a whisper of a fragrance but you should just be aware that this entire collection does have a scent to it i find that the foundation blends out really quickly very seamlessly the texture is really lovely i like this weird sort of like liquid gel hybrid because as you can see it's not running it's not moving it just sort of stays in place until you blend it out and it blends out really quickly i mean you barely even need a mirror i can just do this and blend this out really quickly so that is one pump of the foundation. So this claims to be illuminating, hydrating, and offer a hint of protection with the camellia oil to just, you know, give you that perennial youth and protection. And I have to say, I love this foundation. It's beautiful. I mean, look at me, look at my skin. I don't have anything else on my complexion, just the foundation. It is stunning gorgeous luminous so natural so lightweight i did a wear test that I'll, i will include a little bit later but that day i just wore the foundation no other makeup and i was i looked at myself in the mirror and i was like oh my god i look beautiful my skin looks gorgeous and that day i just kept forgetting that i had any sort of makeup on because this feels so light I mean, Chanel is known for their foundations. They have great foundations. And this one here, oh, it's, I mean, look at me. Look at my skin. Look at the glow. Look at the color. Look at how seamless and blendable it is. And it, 
like melts into your skin right away. It just becomes one with the skin. It dries down relatively quickly. It doesn't really feel sticky or tacky. And there is some luminosity, but as you can see, as you can see, it isn't like extra glowy. It, it isn't like a disco ball. I don't know if they said which skin types exactly would um, prefer this one here. I'm 34. I have dry, dehydrated skin. I live in the Arctic, apparently. So I think if you had like very oily skin, you would want to go ahead and like powder like you would normally just to make sure you don't get like lots of oiliness throughout the day. But it really gives you the most natural lit from within glow. Like I don't have anything else on my skin right now. It's just the foundation. And I think it's the camellia oil because it offers this like moisturizing effect without looking or feeling oily or greasy and it's just it's so natural like you can still see like freckles or beauty marks whatever you want to call them this is one pump so i would say that this is like a light to medium coverage foundation i think if you did two pumps you could get more coverage but maybe just do like a half pump or mix it in with a bit of um face oil or with a moisturizer if you want to shear it out but this is one pump here. This is like where I'm happy with the coverage. Like this is as much as I would want or need in a day. It is so beautiful. I'm trying to see if there's any other claims here. It says here that the number one foundation is has a formula that's supposed to help protect against environmental aggressors, soften the skin, and provide all day comfort. It felt very comfortable all day. It didn't really like it did not whatsoever uh, fill into the little creases I'll go ahead and include the wear test now it didn't uh, bunch up in the smile lines it didn't cake it didn't have any dry spots it's I mean I'm honestly blown away with how beautiful how natural how light it's really your skin but better and I have other foundations here that I will uh, refer to in comparison because a lot of them I thought that they were like my skin but better but this one here is like the best one so far I am just blown away I just love how natural and seamless it is I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of concealer this is the Chanel corrector in number 20 I just need a tiny bit of concealer here just to you know complete the look Okay, a hint of concealer does a world of good. So one thing I want to compare with the number one de Chanel is the Vita Lumière Aqua because I think this is the texture that is the most similar to this one here. So let's just do another little swatch here of the number 40 of the number one Chanel foundation. So again, it has this like liquidy with like a hint of like gel texture to it because you can see it's not really like running off the back of my hand and one texture that reminds me of that is the Vita Lumière Aqua. I remember this one having like a little bit of that liquid slightly jelly texture like it's not totally fluid and running off the back of my hand. Both of these are in a B40 shade range here. Now the other colors I'm going to show you are going to be B30s, but I still wanted to show you the textures. So the texture of this, to me, these two look and feel pretty similar, but I would have to say that the number one foundation maybe feels a bit more runny and a bit more liquid. The other foundation that I think could be sort of close to the finish in that it's very natural and healthy looking is the Le Beige Healthy Glow or what is it? Healthy Glow Foundation Hydration and Longwear. But this one is a B30. So let's go ahead. This one here is much more runny, like more fluid. And there is a swatch here of B30 underneath. And then just for fun, let's also include a swatch of the Ultra Lotin. This one here is definitely more high coverage. It offers a little bit more of a velvet matte finish, but it also has like a all day comfort aspect. And this is a B30 as well. So here we go. This one also, I guess a lot of these Chanel foundations have like the liquid slash 
jelly texture so it doesn't just run off the back of your hand. And then here is a swatch of the Ultra Latte foundation. So even though there is a shade discrepancy between the one that I have and some of the swatches here, you can see that they are sort of similar. You can see how I could use both of these colors. Now let's go ahead and go into the number one de Chanel lip and cheek balm. Again, I have the one red camellia and these retail at 61 Canadian plus tax. I swear every year they just keep increasing the prices more and more. So this one also has camellia in it. It has the red camellia oil to uh, deliver the comfort to the skin and also comfort for the lips as well. As stated with the foundation, this has the red camellia oil, so it's supposed to give you that perennial youth look. It has that comfort and hydration. And oh, let's not forget to apply the fragrance mist at the end too for this like holistic, all-encompassing um, vibe that they keep talking about. So this is the front here, the beautiful CC, the logo here from Chanel, and obviously the back is glass so you have the beautiful color i like that you can see the shade on the back here you don't have to open it there isn't really a scent that i'm noticing but maybe when i apply it i will notice so this is it here it looks very opaque very intense and it says here that this expires within 18 months so once you open it you have 18 months to use it up. I'm gonna go ahead and use it on my lips first just because I feel like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and warm it up a little bit here. And then I'll just do a little bit and see how opaque I can go. Right now it kind of just looks like a little bit of a flush. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more just to see. You can definitely see a little bit more color payoff. I think this would be lovely to use if you have a red lipstick you want to wear and maybe as you're doing your makeup, you just go in and apply this on the lips because it does feel very hydrating. It feels like it feels like a really nice lip balm. It's not too slick either. Sometimes lip balms kind of like slip all over. This feels really lovely. So maybe if you wanted to just like really lean into the red use this as at first for like a base like a hydrating lip balm to enhance the red color i think if you just pat the color on top of the lip as well instead of just rubbing it you also get a bit more color payoff it looks really beautiful and again, it feels really nourishing on the lip. Now, as a cheek color, because it's a lip and cheek color, and at first I was like, I'll probably just use it once as a cheek color and not really love it, but Julia, we had like a FaceTime chat and she showed me different ways to apply it and different colors, and I was like, hmm, it actually looks really nice. Like on her, it looked so natural, so I'm gonna go in with a finger like this, and I'm going to apply some color with one finger, and then blend with a separate one. You could go ahead and use a blush brush if you wanted to, but honestly, going in with your finger is that much easier because you're not even using a makeup brush. I have to say that I love this here, this lip and cheek balm. Again, this is the Red Camellia. It does look intense in the pot, but as you can see, it's really buildable and really blendable, so you're not gonna get this exact color payoff, so you can work with it, you can mix it up, mix it into your skin, and what's nice is that while this does look and feel hydrating on the lips, it doesn't look or feel too glossy on the cheek. I was worried it would feel like a lip gloss on my cheek, but it's actually just giving me just like a healthy glow. It looks like I just came in from the cold and my cheeks are a little bit red and it doesn't, like it doesn't feel glossy or sticky. It just looks like a natural little flush and 
I just, I love it. I think it's so pretty. It's so natural. It gives you just like that perfect little rosy cheek. It looks so, I don't know. It looks so natural, so healthy and luminous. Now let's go in with a bit of fragrance because the only true way to finish off a makeup look is with a bit of scent. And this is the Le Rouge. So this, I would say, use more as like a body mist. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it here today, but I think if you applied it directly onto your skin, you would get more of that holistic approach and it smells so nice. It's floral, it's fresh, it's not heavy at all. It's really just like a light whisper of like a beautiful flower garden. I totally get it. I get the whole vibe. I get the whole look. It makes sense. It really fits in with this entire makeup line that feels and looks very light, very natural, just very much you but better. And so having a scent that smells like you but a little bit better also makes sense. So overall, my thoughts on the number one de Chanel makeup line, the foundation, I think it's honestly my favorite of all time. Maybe. I think I'm just like really blown away with how beautiful, like it looks so beautiful. It looks so natural, so luminous, but in the most subtle, healthy way. Like you just clearly have like a green smoothie every day and eat your seven a day and go for a jog and like it it looks so so beautiful but also so natural like it's not greasy looking it's not over the top it's just like the perfect blend and it's it's astounding it's really really a beautiful foundation i absolutely love it and i'm really impressed with the lip and cheek balm at first i was like mm, i'll use the cheek balm once but now i'm like no i like it i really like this just like very natural, effortless, beautiful color. If you wanted to add more color, you could go ahead and do that. You could also put a bit of a powder blush on top if you wanted to enhance it, but even just the lip color, I mean, look, it just looks so beautiful and so natural. I totally get this like hippy dippy vibe that they have going on with this collection here. So yeah, overall a huge success. I think it is totally worth it completely Ally approved. I have my samples here of some of the skincare that I will be testing out and I can share my uh, thoughts with that. I didn't really pick up any skincare yet because skincare is hard to review. First of all, you need more time. I can't just like pick up a serum and you know review it right away. I need like several weeks to test it out. And also my skin is not a guinea pig. Like not everything that comes out is made for me. So uh, that's why I review so much makeup because makeup you put it on, you wash it off, end of the day, skincare, it's a little bit more than that. But yeah, I think it's great, beautiful, amazing, astounding, 10 out of 10, would highly, highly recommend. Yeah, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, I just can't get over how beautiful I look. I'm just like, ah, oh, wonderful, amazing. That sounds like very narcissistic, but I'm just like, it looks so healthy and beautiful. I have like a cowlick here that's keeping me humble. But anyway, I think it looks great. And let me know in the comments what you think. A lot of you wanted this uh, video in particular. A lot of you told me that you picked up some items, but you still wanted to hear what I had to say. A lot of you wanted to hear what I had to say because you wanted to pick up items. So sound off below. What did you pick up? What did you get? I love the foundation. I love the lip and cheek balm. I'm glad I got the red camellia at first. I was going to get more of like, like a nudie color, but Julia was like, no, maybe get the darker red. And it looks great because you can sheer it out. And the fragrance I think is beautiful. Just very light and just ugh, very much like that girl, very effortlessly chic. But anyway, I hope you take the time to subscribe and also hit that notification bell because I talk nonstop about luxury makeup and especially Chanel. So if you like to have someone who lets you know what's new, what's coming up, what's good, how to wear it, I am that person. So make sure you're subscribed. But I think that is all I have for you guys for today. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.